Hi there, when you're getting set up to film yourself, there's a few different ways that you can position the camera so you can actually see yourself and get on with the video. If you don't have any of the other things I'm gonna be talking about later in this video, the easiest way is to just use a book or a cushion or something to prop up your camera or phone so you can actually see yourself. You might have to put your camera a bit further away on a table or a chair just so you can get enough of yourself in the picture. If you're using a phone to film yourself, you can get a tripod that has a phone adapter so you can just clip the phone to the tripod. If you don't wanna get a big tripod, you can use this alternative from Peak design basically it's a case that fits around your phone so it provides some protection for your phone for a start but it's also got this magnetic attachment and I'll show you how that works the great thing about this system is that there's loads of different attachments you get there's this little tripod and all you do is you extend out the legs and then it just magnetically attaches to the phone then you can film either vertically like this or film normal widescreen videos there's also other attachments that will clip to the case like this mount here just show you how that works don't have to change the case, you just snap this on. And at the bottom here is a quick release plate. So you can attach that to a tripod if you've got a tripod that has a quick release plate. Or you can use other adapters to attach this to bikes and even just loosen this off. Just rotate this around. And you could even use it in combination with some of the other stuff from Peak Design to clip it onto your body or your bag and create that kind of point of view look. This little tripod's also great if you have like a script or something that you want to put on your phone when you're making your videos. By the way, I'll put links to everything I'm talking about in the description for this video. What about if you're not using a phone, you're using a camera? There's a few different options. If you just want something small and fairly flexible, literally flexible because you can bend the legs, you can get something like this Gorilla Pod. There's a few different sizes for this Gorilla Pod and it will depend on how heavy your camera is or how big your camera is as to which version you want. It comes with this ball head and you can kind of do some interesting things with these legs because you can really bend them around and wrap them around kind of strange looking things. A word of warning though, when you're using a Gorilla Pod, if you're using it like this, make sure it's not gonna fall off. And even if you're using it as a standard tripod, just make sure that the legs are actually gonna be super stable and it's not accidentally gonna fall over. I've had that happen a couple of times. If you want a tripod that's going to go a bit higher than this thing, so you can put the camera at eye level, like I've got it here, you're gonna to want to go for a more traditional tripod. I've had this peak design tripod for years now and I absolutely love it. This particular one that I've got is a carbon fiber one so it's even lighter than the other version and I really love the kind of ball head that they've got on this thing. It's really easy to turn and position the camera to get the exact angle that you want. It also folds up really nice and compact for travel. You could of course go for an even more traditional kind of tripod like this Winston 2.0 from Three Legged Thing. The benefit of this tripod over the Peak Design one is that it actually goes a bit higher and if you extend the center column even higher you've just got to be careful when you're extending the center column of tripods because they can get a bit more unstable and if you're filming outside with a lot of wind you're going to get a lot of wobble. What I would say is whichever tripod you decide to go with make sure it's got a quick release system so you can fit a plate to the bottom of the camera and then quickly slot it in and out of the tripod head without having to screw things together or fiddle about with stuff. It's just going to make filming videos a lot quicker and a lot more easy. Where you decide to position the camera and the angle that you set it up at makes a big difference to how you'll look on camera and how the overall video will feel. In this next Next video you'll learn the power of camera angles and how you can use them to really take your video to the next level. I'm Jason Roberts, please subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.